Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can give email delegation permissions from one person to another. So in this case, I have given Jessica Watson's email permissions to myself. So if I open my Outlook, I can see her email address appearing on the bottom. And I can manage emails, send emails depending on the permissions. So where you give the permissions is in the admin portal. So I'll show you the online version as well a little bit after I show you how you add, add, add permissions. So if I go to admin portal, uh, active users, then that to that person address, then on the right hand side, I get these options. So I go to mail and I get the oh, three, these three options over here, read, manage permissions. If I give only read, manage permissions, it will show that person's email address under my outlook, but I can't send any emails but you can manage them and if I want to give get the access to her email address full access sending emails and viewing and everything so I give all these three permissions so how you add any permissions uh, add any person under this permission is on click on that add permissions and select the relevant user if you can't see it here if you have a whole list you can search and press add then it will be added to that list um, you do all, to all these three if you're gonna give full permissions and what I re recommend is you wait for a few minutes and then after that it will appear in here in your outlook and if you want to send behalf of that person you go to new email then you need to have the from option from here so you go to options then from here select from on the drop down, if you can't see that, but you, you won't be able to see that person's email address over here. So you go to other email addresses and type in, I have copied it to my clipboard, press OK. So I have that person's email here. I'm sending it to Kevin Smith. Uh, I care, not care, care. Sending it out and it will go in on behalf of that person so if i check kevin's email i should receive a email from jessica give it a few few more minutes we'll come back and check that so online version how do you access the uh, through the online version what you do is you go to your initials you log into your outlook online version go to your initials open another mailbox and type in that person uh, jessica in this case and open so it will open up her email box over here so i can send emails and manage the emails in this online version so, that, so that's how you access the online version so if i check kevin's one let's see whether, it, whether he received that email still not we'll try from the web version as well so i'm sending from jessica to kevin uh, sorry what's that kevin what's that kevin sending to kevin from jessica to kevin I sending so let's go and check yeah it comes through from jessica watson so that's how you send it from the online version and desktop version so mail delivery permissions issue it might be the permissions are not synced yet let's try again Go to Jessica's new email, sending from Jessica to, I think I have the Kevin Smith. Hi, Kevin. Send. This 
is getting rejected. I need to diagnose this. So I had to look it up why this is happening. So what I found out was when you're sending an email, create a new email from this from section, I have deleted that uh, Jessica's name from here. I am going to other email address and from and select global address list then select what jessica watson okay and okay send into kevin and hi kev and send and let's see whether we'll receive kevin's email address yeah it went through so for some reason when you're sending from the desktop version you need to select uh, from the address list then after that it will appear here so next time you can select it that's um, that's how you send from the desktop version so hope this guy uh, this is helpful for, for you guys if you have any questions put it in my comment section i can always reply so thanks for watching bye